What's up guys, we're glad you could join us back here in the detail garage. As you can see, we've still got this awesome off-road charger. Now in a previous video, we washed it to take care of any of that loose dirt and debris that was on the surface without scratching it. Now we brought it inside and we clayed it, which took care of any of that water spots or anything else that was on the surface to give you that, that smooth feel. But after further inspection, we can see that there's a lot of scratches and swirls that are really taken away from the overall look of the vehicle. So we're gonna go ahead and polish it, but before we start, we wanna inspect the vehicle further because a lot of people don't know this, but this car is actually composed of different materials. So you have right here, this is actually the original charger, which is made of metal, obviously. And then you come down here, the hood, the side, the fender flares, all that is actually made of fiberglass. So it reacts differently to different kinds of polishes. And if you polish too hard on this, or if you use too much of an abrasive, it'll actually take the paint off faster. So what we're gonna do is be very careful using a light abrasive polish that's safe for gel coat, paint, fiberglass, to give us that uniform shine. So we've already started a small test spot on the passenger side of the vehicle using our phase five polish and an orange pad. Now that's giving me the correct combination to bring back this deep reflective gloss. Over here you can just see it's a gray scratch up and swirled side which is really muted, while over here it's almost dark as night. So the reason why this car is so scratched up is because this is still a movie car that was mistreated, abused, and now it's just showing all that kind of imperfections in the paintwork. So since this car is going back into a collection or into a museum, we're going to go ahead and take our time to polish it out and give it this deep black gloss. So let's get started. I feel good about that one. Like I had said, we're gonna be using our phase five polish with a torque 10 effects with an orange pad. Now first we'll shake up the product and then we're gonna apply five dime sized drops to our pad. Now the reason why I've gone with phase five is because it's a specialty product that's designed for fiberglass, gel coat, or anything that's got that really thick kind of gel, which is actually a clear coat on top of the paintwork. Now in case you don't know, gel coat and fiberglass, it all takes a lot of abrasives to actually cut through because it's a thicker paint which has a resin finish so that it's more durable against harsh elements, UV rays, or anything that can actually harm the finish. So we have to have some kind of abrasive that'll cut through that to get back down to the paintwork. Now the reason for that is because scratches are on the top layer of your paint and by taking that off you're going to reveal fresh paint which is actually giving you that clarity. So we're going to start by dabbing this out and then on our lower speed setting we're going to start spreading it and then on our highest speed setting is what we're going to be doing our polishing. on this charger. I've done a few test spots to show you guys that the Phase 5 does a tremendous job at taking those heavy scratches and swirls out of all the fiberglass areas, but I wanted to let you guys know that you can also use it on metal here because a lot of people don't know this, but this charger is actually not a completely original charger. Obviously it's not, but the center piece here, the center section with the doors and the B pillars, this is all actual charger, but from the cowl to about midway down the rear window is the only original pieces. The rest of it's all fiberglass that's been blended into the metal surfaces. So the car has multiple different types of materials that you have to be careful when you're polishing that you know what you're working with so you don't take off too much paint or cause any kind of improper polish technique. So we're gonna finish off the rest of this vehicle using phase five on the doors here. We've got a little more blending to do on the top and the sides. And then we're gonna take this thing outside so you guys can see the before and after and really get the whole effect.
Alrighty guys, we've come to the end of the detail on our off-road charger. Starting off with a foam bath using black light soap, we were able to safely remove anything that was on top of the surface without scratching, while also enhancing that deep black finish. Then moving on to phase five, we were able to take care of those deep scratches on the fiberglass as well as the paint to really bring back this show shine. Now you guys can learn more about these products on our website, chemicalguys.com. We really hope you enjoyed this video with this movie car. We hope to see you guys next time right here in the detail garage. Now there's nothing left to say. Let's just bask in the ambience of this beautiful car with pure silence. Eh, silence is overrated. Oh boy.